A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 2nd April, on the front page you have Supreme Court questions Assam government over untraced foreign immigrants. So, the Supreme Court is now questioning because the foreign tribunals in Assam have declared them as illegal foreign, foreigners. There are 91,609 such people who have been declared illegal foreigners by foreigners tribunals till March 2018. Out of these, 72,486 are absconding as per Home Ministry. So, only presently 829 people declared foreigners by the tribunals and 115 foreigners who have completed their jail term are lodged in the six jail come detention centers in Assam. So, this, these are the facts and figures. So, that's why now Supreme Court is asking where are those who have not been deported and are not in detention centers. So, this is there. Of course, those foreigners who also have completed their term, they have not been deported because finding out the country of origin of illegal foreigners is necessary to deport them and also that country should accept the credentials and accept those foreigners. Then below you have former vice chairman of ILNFS arrested. So, this is former vice chairman and managing director of the financial services firm, the NBFC, non-banking finance company, ILNFS, Infrastructure Leasing and Financial Services, Hari Shankaran. He has been arrested by the Securities Fraud Investigation Office. So, he has been sent to police custody too. We had seen earlier how the government had said that the new management which has been brought in by the government should not be you know, accused or charged with the fraud which has been committed earlier. So now the former vice chairman has been arrested. So we are seeing that uh, the, it has been tried to revive and you know bring ILNFS out of the crisis. Then this is GST revenue hits a record high in March. So GST collections have been closed at 1.06 lakh crore in March 2019. This is highest in the history of the tax in India. And this is the fourth time since it has been introduced that the collection, monthly collection has crossed 1 lakh crore mark this year. Then on page 2 you have forest fires threatening Odisha's flora and fauna. So it is said March has alone registered 4,495 fire spots. So the sudden jump in forest fires in Odisha across the state is resulting in massive damage to flora and fauna. the detail given here you can see. So, you know, there have been 11 fires which have been detected by MODIS. MODIS is Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectro Radiometer. So, it has a resolution of 1 kilometer by 1 kilometer which has detected forest fires. Forest Department of Orisha claims that they have mapped the forest divisions prone to fire and have maintained more than 6,000 kilometer long fire line in different forests ahead of the fire season. So, fire generally take place during these times. Still, it is seen that the forest fire incidents are increasing. Then on page 7, you have India gets surveillance satellite. So, this is MESET, which has been launched by India. So, it is a surveillance satellite. It, was, it is said to give more power to the armed forces by providing information on hostile radars. So, MESET is the main payload along with 28 international satellites which have been launched so, this is the first mission of PSLV QL, which is PSLV C45. It's a new variant of PSLV which has been used. Also, we had discussed earlier too how the fourth stage would be used as an orbiter for six months and experiments would be conducted on it. It will have solar panels on it too. So, this mission are many firsts for this road too. And this is April May to be warmer than normal, says IMD. So, this is the Indian Meteorological Department which has predicted that April, May months will be warmer than normal. Central and Northwest India may bear the brunt. And then below you have Nirav tried to get Varnashu citizenship. So, his request was rejected as such, Enforcement Directorate sources say. But he wanted to get citizenship of the South Pacific Ocean Island located close to Australia, Varnashu. And this is, despite objections, Staff Selection Commission Chief give, give an extension. So, RTI applications have found that uh, SSC Chairman Ashim Khurana, whose resignation was demanded by students due to alleged paper leaks in 2018, was given extension of tenure through a retrospective amendment of rules. 
So these details have come forth now through RTI. Then on page 8 you have on the editorial page Foggy in Vyanad. So this is regarding Rahul Gandhi's decision to contest from Kerala in, from Vyanad to so this opens up fault lines in the anti-BJP front, it is said. And it's political. Then this is space for campaign. So this says, election commission went by rule book on the ASAT issue, anti-satellite test issue, but PM should have upheld the spirit of model code. So though it has been given, Prime Minister has been given a clean chit by election commission, the editorial says that Prime Minister should have, you know, should have upheld the model code of conduct and would, should not have gone ahead with, an, with such an address when model code of conduct is in place. Then the lead article says ensuring access to justice. So this is regarding how the Supreme Court should become reachable. It says Supreme Court must set up more benches and disciplinary jurisdiction over lawyers must go back to the judiciary. So jurisdiction over lawyers should be there with the judiciary itself. And this is deepening insecurity. So this is regarding Mission Shakti. It says the buzz around Mission Shakti should be an opportunity to review India's defense strategy. Then on OPET page you have the politics of enmity. So this is regarding how the idea that a membership in a group comes with an enemy to be fought. So in the elections, uh, you know, have become la less violent it is said, but then still you know, there are other disturbing tendencies like, uh, you know, violence being seen during the same period when elections take place. So, political opponents are seen as enemies. This is regarding that. Then this is taking a cue from Japan, how India can bridge the Belt and Road divide with China. So. We are opposed to the Belt and Road Initiative of China, but still Japan is also opposed to it, but it has come together with China on the matter. So, taking a cue from China, India should also, you know, make the relations cordial now on this issue. Then there is no important news on the international page. On the business page, you have nothing important on this page. On the page 14, as such, you have... GST collections at 1.06 lakh crore in March clocked the highest ever. So we saw this on the front page too. Center says that revenue growth is picking up despite rate rationalization measures. So GST rates have been brought down in some cases too. Yet the GST has been increasing. Then this is J and J Johnson and Johnson Levy shampoo samples fail quality test. So the firm J and J has rejected drug watchdogs findings. So this is regarding quality test conducted by state of Rajasthan. So here you can see. So these have been rejected by the Johnson & Johnson which is a US company. So Rajasthan Drugs Control Organization uh, notice says that the samples of J&J baby shampoo taken from two batches had failed the quality test and that they contained harmful ingredients. So this is what it says. It is saying that there is formaldehyde that is used in making building materials and is a carcinogen which has been found in these shampoos, samples. Then below you have core sector growth quickens to 2.1% in February. So this is regarding the 8 core sectors in IIT index of industrial production. So the core sector growth has accelerated for the month of uh, February to 2.1% from 1.5% in January. And this is RBI tweaks NPA divergence disclosure rules. So RBI has asked banks to disclose bad loan divergences in their financial statements if the additional provisioning exceeds 10% of profits before provisioning and contingency. And this is SEBI Mulls SRO for investment advisors. So self-regulatory organization. SRO is what SEBI is considering for investment advisors. It says time is right for self-regulatory entity. And on the last page, there is no important news. So these are the important headlines. You can visit our website asr.com for detailed current affairs video course details too. Plus also regarding the, uh, you can download the PDFs, current affairs PDFs. Thank you.